What's up, my glassy friends? How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. This is Glassy Gamer. I'm coming at you an episode of Osiris New Dawn. And in today's episode, we are going to continue. Continue where we left off. Well, actually, we got wiped, so I had to start all over again. So I'm going to continue where I left off. I uh, built a few things ahead of time just to get you guys uh, up to date to see what's going on. Come on. Open up door. So what I've done here is I've built the main, uh, main area. And we've got ourselves tons of barrels here. Uh, aluminum. So let's move that over. Store and inventory. Store and inventory. Store and inventory. All right. Because we need to get some, you know, something. Yes, we need to get something. We need to find where the hydrogen is, I believe. And because we have to make plastics. So what I've done is I've got the basics in there now. And uh, let's go get our Oompa. Oompa, come here. Oompa, Oompa, come here. Oompa, don't run away from me. Oompa, no. Follow. There we go. Yes, follow me. Actually, do you have anything on you? Let me check. Uh, open inventory. All right, so there's nothing on there. So the one thing I found with Oompa is if you leave something on them and you log off, <laughs> there won't be anything when you come back. So, we'll just continue to let them follow me. So I've been building up this base, and now I've got tons of uh, barrels. Because we're going to be looking for some hydrogen, I guess. Uh, yeah, because we need to make plastic. So, let's continue on. I think there was some up for this hill. But I'm not sure. But we'll find out. So this game has had quite a few updates recently. Uh, one of which is now you can actually have your structures damaged by the uh, mobs. So you can't just sit inside all night and just let them destroy you. You actually have to go outside. Uh, precious metal. What is it? It's not just precious metal. What are you? Are you silver? Are you gold? Ah, what's hitting me? Ah! Stupid thing! Oh, is this copper? I thought it was precious metal. Okay, so that's something different. That's a change. Why can't I kill you? You used to be so easy. Now you're... Ugh. You die. Ugh. Okay. You. I'm going to open up your inventory. And... Here, you hold this and that, and can you hold that? Perfect. There we go. And follow. That's weird how it just uh, labeled it as just precious metal. It didn't do that before. But see, before it used to tell you what it was. So I guess now you have to maybe scan something or actually hit it? I, I don't know. Just hit it with a hammer, I guess, huh? See what happens. Just fling it in the air. Are you... What are you? Huh? I think you were copper, maybe? I don't know. That's so weird. Okay, so it was copper and titanium. Huh. That's a big change. I'm not sure I like that change. I, I kind of like to worry that it used to say, just say, here's the node and here's what you do. Uh-oh. Battle music. It's coming right at us. Definitely, the mobs are much more aggressive now and they seem to be more numerous. So, we'll see how tonight's going to be. This is going to be a scary night. Oh. I gotta find our engine. I gotta make plastic. I gotta find carbon too. Oh. Come on, come on. Would you die? They made these a lot harder. Uh, before this little pea shooter used to take them down real easy. But now it's a little different story. 
They've really uh, ramped it up. Now, it's not a bad thing to ramp up the difficulty. You know, people probably said, hey, this is this is way too easy. You know, so, you know, hey, that's how it is. Now, the hard thing is, where do I find hydrogen? Yeah, I think we'll be right back. And uh, once we find it, we'll harvest it and bring it back and show you where it is. Yep. So, we'll be right back. And we're back. So I found some geysers in the distance, but look what's in front of us here. This is ridiculous. There's three giant dung beetles, I think. Whoa, there's another one. Holy crap, they're coming out of the ground. Man, they really ramped it up. All right, let's make our way over and get some of that hydrogen and try to make our way back. Hopefully we can pick up some carbon at the same time because we need that as well to make plastics. And that's going to be a big thing in, in uh, making our next set of things. Yes, next set of things. Because I want to get a vehicle bay in. And I want to be able to, you know, fly into space. You know, drive out here with some guns. That'd be some awesome things going on. I think we need to find some diamonds too and some other resources that are pretty rare. But we'll find them. That's what it's all about. So I'm uh, moving on over here. I'm pretty sure that's hydrogen. It looks yellow. Yellow is hydrogen, I think. Blue is oxygen. Uh, green is chlorine, maybe, or something. Something. Stay away from them Colossus bugs. They're like Zerg. They're popping out of the ground everywhere. This is getting scary. Ah. All right, we are almost here. Where are we? This planet is just so big, it's ridiculous. Now, I wonder what happens, I mean, once we get to the space station and all that. I haven't been to space yet in this game. So I'm still curious to see what's going on. All right, so this says base material. So is that... Carbon, maybe? Let's hit it and find out. That is so weird. So you have to kind of break the shell first. I think it's aluminum. Is it aluminum? Yes, it's aluminum. Okay. No, I'm not really needing aluminum right now. But I do need some carbon. Oh, there is some carbon. Perfect. Got to get a lot of this stuff. Now, I notice uh, our weapon, our hammer doesn't br have any durability, which is great. Because <laughs> I would hate to have to carry two or three of them out. All right, let's uh, open you up and load you up. All right. Now, to use the, uh, to fill the hydrogen, all you do is this. Just load it in your slots. And... Uh, We'll go, there's number six, and just hold it. See how quickly it fills? Ta-da! And we'll get number seven. We're going to get as much hydrogen as we can. I mean, this is just, it's a pretty far distance. You know, I, I wish I brought a marker with me, because I would have marked this location just as, uh, to make it easier for next time. So let's fill this one up. Well, I'm glad we don't have to have any kind of device here to make it harder to fill. Ugh, that would be a pain. But maybe I'll do that later on. We'll see. We're filling them up quick. And we're going to have to get some more. more. Uh, you would think this will make you lighter, not heavier. Seriously? Hydrogen has... Hydrogen is pretty friggin' light. Alright, so let's see if this does it. Seven, we'll fill that. And number six. Wow. So actually filling hydrogen in these barrels adds mass. You wouldn't think that. You think, I mean, because hydrogen's pretty light. It's lighter than air, actually. Any more carbon? Wow, that was all the carbon here. That's crazy. That's craziness. There was only one carbon block here. Wow, they really ramped up the difficulty of the game. 
All right, so let's uh, take out our map and not duct tape map. 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 There we go. Beacon. That's what I was looking for. So you can actually set your beacon to be your home point, which I'm doing right now. All right, so I'm going to head back. We are 680 meters. And the thing is, I really should have brought a beacon with me. It's like just to mark the hydrogen because it seems like it's pretty far. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, this uh, storm is real. Sandstorms. They're crazy. Base metal. So that's going to take some getting used to. I wonder what the diamonds look like. Do they just say diamonds yet? Or if they just say base metal <laughs> or super rare gems? We'll see. Come on, little guy. Come on, Oompa. All right. So hopefully we can use this to expand our base some. I mean, definitely having hydrogen is going to work because we needed the hydrogen. Can't have plastic without it. All right, just the problem is we don't have a lot of carbon. Ugh, that's going to hurt. We may have to go out for... Whoa! Ugh, every time I see that, it's like it makes me jump. It's like thinking, oh, there's that giant worm again. It's going to eat me. The sandworms. Oh, it's one of them bugs. Well, let me fly on over here. You stay away. You stay. Let me get my gun out. My little pea shooter. I really need to make some weapons. Uh, upgraded weapons. Because... This is no longer effective as it used to be. I mean, before it used to go... You know, bang, 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 and they're gone. Now it's like... You gotta hit and run. You gotta really kite these things. It's crazy. All right, we're coming up on our base, hopefully. Ah, there's another one. 435 meters. We're almost there. You're not carbon. You're not carbon. You look like iron. So it's just base metal or precious metal now. You no longer are they labeled. That's kind of a pain. They made it, I guess they gave it, uh, they made it too easy for us. That's what probably happened. So they ramped up the difficulty. We could do it. Well, we'll level this. Come on, Opa. You can climb. All right. We're almost there. I'm just trying to avoid all these uh, crazy mobs here in this crater. Also, that crater is just a shadow of the rock. That's nuts. What are you? Precious metal. Well, I'm preciously overweight. <laughs> with hydrogen gas. Of all things, I'm encumbered with hydrogen. I can't believe it. Just remember to dodge these little uh, koosh balls because they will poke your spacesuit and do damage. Alright, we are almost back to base. And uh, we'll pick up. You know, I think I'm just going to... We're going to skip ahead. We'll, I'll meet you there. Ah, never mind. Battle. Terrible disaster. We're in a battle. We're in a battle. Oh, man. It does like 10% damage, if that. Ah! Oompa, I need your fire hair. Fire power. Hit it. I wonder if you could upgrade the Oompa to rocket launchers and stuff. That would be pretty sweet. Or to have two or three Oompas. Ah! How's my suit? Oh. You know, I'm glad I brought Oompa with me because... Oh, man. That was pretty difficult. All right, let's not burn all the stamina classic. Can't do that right now. Oh, ho, ho. We are almost at home. We are at 187 meters away. 187 meters, oh, 160 meters away from uh, having plastic. Woohoo! I just got to get back and unload it. Uh, I could do it. There we go. We can see it now. So once we get back, I'm going to go ahead and 
unload these things because there's a ridiculous amount of weight in me. I'll show you what I did over here. Actually, it made it so it's a little bit easier. I was actually having Upa harvest uh, for me for a while. So I set up these four boxes kind of like a little like the little channel. They just like, he just walks right through it. You know, unloads, goes back out, grabs some more, comes back, and it's right next to the forge. So that makes it just a little bit easier for me to do. All right, let me get this stuff in. Uh, you wait here. Stay. Good boy. Let's get back to our, our little pod here. Uh, uh, there we go. This cracks me up. You gotta pressurize yourself first to get the other doors open. Or is it? I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so let's uh, get the chemistry table going. We need to make plastic. So, uh, did I forget my carbon? Seriously. Alright, let me put this here just to get some weight off me. Oh, man. How can I forget the carbon? I'm going to have to find some big carbon deposits. This is just uh, one of those things. Can I repair you? All right. I'm going to take that. That. The titanium. The more titanium. The copper. There's not really a whole lot that I got there. All right. And now we're going to make some plastics. Ooh. And I think we could make our center console or our fabricator. I'm not sure if they... I forgot what it's called. We'll see. We are almost there. Oh, got to keep forgetting to depressurize. Airlocks. So in this one, actually, I put a lot of, uh, you know, extra, you know, hatches just to make it so I can uh, expand. Just in case something new comes out that's pretty cool. So we'll see. All right, let me drop this out here. And we're just going to make a ton of plastics. As much as we can, anyways. Oh, at least eight. Seriously. All right, well, let me put this here. Like so. And what else can we make? Oh, they have first aid kits, so plastic and rubber. That makes absolutely no sense. Hmm. What is that? A wild fungus? Glass container with fencidine. Uh, uh, this is chlorine and fluorine and that. Wild fungus. Hydrochloric acid. So they've added some different uh, chemical recipes now. So let's take a look at our furniture. All right, so if we can build a fabricator now. So we need glass, steel, and aluminum. Let's... Uh, Let's go get that. You don't let me store these for now because this is pretty heavy stuff. Store glass, steel, and aluminum. So we've got some aluminum right here. Perfect. And because then I can actually make a one of those science things. Because so what I really want to do. Oh, ah. Not you. Uh, whoop. Glass steel. Okay, so we do have some glass and steel. Perfect. Let me take this out. And I'll take the rubber with me. And what else can we make now? May not be a... I can't make a gun yet, but I can make the ammo. That's not going to help. Mm. All right. Can we make that? We can make that. That's a starting point. Can we make a oxygen thing in a bed? Yeah, I guess. Yep. There we go. Now the crazy thing about this game is things just keep getting, every time they do a big update, they do a wipe. So hopefully this won't get wiped out again. It's already been wiped three times. It's kind of getting aggravating, but you know, at least we're learning the game a little bit quicker each time. All right, now what can we do here? This is where we can make our assault rifles. All right, I cannot get that. Uh, uh, no, I can't even make a battery yet. Wiring. 
Uh, I don't think I've... Does that say diamond? Yeah, I don't even have a diamond yet. So I need a, I need two diamonds for an assault rifle. I don't know where those are yet. So... Uh, what else can we make? Uh, structures. Barracks? No. Inflatable dome. Laboratory. That's what I'm looking for. So, for, you know, we're going to have to get some diamonds for this one. And uh, lots of lithium, gold, and all sorts of wiring and stuff. So, you know, I actually might wrap up this episode right here. Uh, this is Glass of Gamer. I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers and my subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Without all of you, this wouldn't be a thing. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and comment below. And as always, if you have not done so already, please subscribe and stay glassy. Bye-bye.